Okay, so we open issue three, October 10th, 1962, and book three, Let the Word Go Forth. So, and uh, we get open up with uh, our man busting out, uh, Jason, and here um, is we got Hunt Calloway, who's our announcer, you know, talking about, I'm happy to be able to report to you that a new age is upon us. It's the era of the new American. Yeah, funny play on words. So then we get, you know, him going around saving kids uh, from a fire, you know, doing, you know, got the Superman class, the Superman picking up the uh, car, you know, trope on here. And then we got our guy, you know, Hunt Calloway, you know, and he's, uh, he's sitting there, you know, Typical 1960s, smoking a cigarette, talking about, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you, ask you, even as we mourn the loss of old glory, hold your faith as the sun rises this great over this great land, as a new day dawns, the new American is among us. <laughs> so everybody's back giving each other a high five and talking about, yeah, it, it's a cool thing, man, yeah, good job. But he was feeling bad because he found out that the the, the actor uh, that thought he could really fly in the last issue that killed himself uh, <laughs> had died. And the man, his, his boy Chet said, hey, I ain't nothing to do with us. And he, so he goes in and now we, he runs across Jason and he's mad. Jason is really upset. And he talks about, man, how long I gotta wear this helmet? And the guy, you know, he says, well, as long as it takes for them to accept a minimum of four, uh, and man he said man I, you know he he you know jace comes back with him with you know he wanted to show he could be heroes and so my man just had enough west just says hey look so i'm a line sack of crap you got superpowers you can kill me 45 different ways with just your empty hands and a bad thought why don't you just do me a favor and if you got if not i got things to deal with and then that hits Jason, but Jason thinks about it. He says, you know, man, saving the kid from the fire, we're doing something for real, and it felt pretty good. So we see the transition of my man over here. So we flip over now to the Southern Defense Force the Corps, and um, we find that uh, my man uh, that is uh, 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 the fire guy, Southern Cross, uh, he's getting always saved by old Miss, who she has the time to, to to deal with time and age things and bring it back. But the problem is, it takes some time off her life. But you know, she's feeling kind of crazy for the guy, so she always saving him and doing some things there. So then we flip over, and now we find a little thing about different story backstories about the characters and how they feeling. Cause my man West is feeling kind of bad. He's dropping flowers off at uh, the uh, the uh, dead actor uh, Johnny uh, Lyle's graves. His brother happens to see him. Johnny Lyle's brother, you know, saying, "Do you did you know my brother?" And the guy was like, "No, nah, I know him." So he just dips off, and he sits back, and he just you know. T talking to his new son about you know hey i'm just doing this for a better america you know i know you know he says i'm doing these things for you a guy's dead and now a super secret ne negro superhero but it's a stronger better america and for you so you know he's trying to he justify this here but you can see he's going through turmoils now and so they out in we wheel in west virginia at their training grounds and the coach who now you know i realized that what he does is he can see into the future so that's his power and so he's out there coaching them trying to get him to do these stunts right and they messing up the only person that's doing it right is uh this guy uh the wanderer who they just gave him some gadgets because he couldn't even make the team and he just gave some gadgets and he's he's doing well because he's working hard and then of course the uh, Jason the new American is doing his thing meanwhile you know uh, <laughs> Pharaohs and Freya Freya they still fighting over you know him smacking her down 
<laughs> at the uh, at the restaurant. And so, you know, we got a little thing going on and uh, and you can see the Southern, now we see, you know, uh, Mr. Lucky, uh, you know, he's out there uh, getting mad because the, uh, the new American never takes his helmet off. But, uh, you know, they like, nah, come on, we don't be messing around here. Let's go here, let's be a, a, a hero. And so, <clears throat> One of the things that, uh, you know, we start thinking about this thing, we talk, you know, they start flashing back. And, uh, you know, Wes, uh, you know, talks about, you know. Uh, and so now we flash back to the uh, real agent, the secret agent. And he's, you know, we get a flashback for him talking about, you know, alien invasions of bulls and fight fake fights against the red terror were waste. But this is real. So he's standing with a... Uh, a guy who's got a razor next to a, another kid. He said, and this, and this kid's going to die if I don't play it right. He says, but I'm a genetically juiced super shooter. So he ends up shooting on this angle, this weird angle, and ends up shooting the guy in the back. And then when, he, when the guy goes down and he sees all these people that are murdered, he realizes that he's got this H put on his chest. And he's like, oh no, it's another one of these. So we don't know what this H is right now, but obviously, you know, my detective guy, he's feeling some kind of way. So then we switch now, we flip over to Wes, who's, you know, now he's been hooked up with uh, 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 his uh, uh, reporter, uh, Pharaoh's little girlfriend reporter, and she's asking a bunch of questions about how is the auto exec now, this federal agency, and, uh, and so then she, uh, you know, as he leaves out the interview, he says, uh, she says, you know, he's lying. So now we see that she's got some backstory. We get another little backstory with uh, uh, the Muscle Shoals and Amber Waves and, you know, just talking about they're doing some good things, even though they know they're fake. So everybody's starting to feel some kind of fake way. So then we flip over and then we see that my man Jason is doing everything. He goes and saves the president, dives in front of him when he's, somebody tries to, uh, it looks like almost like the uh, Bobby Kennedy assass assassination attempt, but uh, you know, he's doing, you know, he saves the day, you know. <clears throat> and so now, now let's get some, I, you know, you, you feel as though they must have, since Hunt Calloway is their uh, mouthpiece, he must know something because he talks about, ladies and gentlemen, Hunt Calloway. Well, the new American has done it again. Saved the day. Restored our faith. Just plain super. Folks, as a mouthpiece of the liberal media, I'm not telling you what to think, but I found out that this new American fellow was a full-on jig coon spookity spook. I love him just as much as if he was really porcelain white. So, okay, 1961, so this is normal. I, I've heard this before. All right, so boom. So, that's how I'm thinking. Hey, they're putting this out with the media because they control the media. And he's putting this out just to taste it, just in case. And so now, we flip down and, you know, Jason's feeling, you know, daydreaming. And he's talking to the Wanderer. And so the Wanderer, you know, we tell a story that he was just like, you know, a guy didn't make a candidate for gene therapy. But he, what he's been doing is juicing himself. And he told his family what he was doing. And they were like, you told your family uh, what you were doing? So, <laughs> now this is the play part. It's a, that's very true, but it, it still stings a little. <laughs> so, my man Jason goes and snitches. <laughs> he goes, tells on the wanderer. And say, man, look, he's telling his family. And he said, look, man, I feel kind of bad, but I just want to tell you what's up. And he said, man, uh, the, my man's like, hey, uh, how you, uh, Give me this information and you ain't never been, you've been at odds with me since I recruited you. My man Jace goes, you know, I know it sounds, I know it sounds soft as hell, but, but you just save a life and you get used to that feeling. So now he done fell into, he fell into, you know, what is, what a superhero's about. If he saved the kid from a burning building, he really knows what that feeling is. And he gives him a little saying, he says, and you, and, and, and you get to thinking maybe all of us can do better so you want to do better by me let's do better 
So uh, my man says, uh, uh, you know, my man's look at his picture. So now they go over to visit the Wanda's family to see what's up. You know, they see the door, they go in, and the Wanda then killed his family. Then did the Negan on them. Then beat him to death with a baseball bat. And he tells them that he just put them in the suspended animation. They're not really dead. He put them in the uh, suspended an animation. So they would talk about, he talking about, you know, uh, you're not, he says, well, I'm going to leave now. He said, no, nah, you're not going nowhere. And so, uh, now they got him, you know, sitting in the in interrogation cell. And he just puts on his mask and busts straight out the wall. Knocks everybody out. And my man says, get some help. And they said, who? He said, everybody. And so he's off to the way. And then we go to the scene. And he's met by the civil defense corps. You know, the whole crew is up in this joint. You know, they all here. And the Southern Defense Court. You know. And he says, hey, guys, what's going on? So they go to put some work in on them. And the Wanderer's just smacking them straight down. He's beating the heck out of them. And, and the coach goes, man, years of, uh, 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 they got them outnumbered six to one. And they can't put them down. And my boy Chet said, years of fake fighting. They blame for, for the real thing. And see, we see that they don't, they're not working as a team. So, you know, the Wanderer's putting a smack down to them. And uh, so now... For all the confusion, boom, here comes the new American. He comes behind the man and bang, puts him down with a smackdown. And when he puts him down to the ground uh, with, the, with the move from the back, my man, the Wanderer turns and smacks him around, smacks him up against uh, the Washington Monument. He bounces off and hits the ground. And as he's doing that, uh, 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 the Wanderer's back is turned now Pharaoh's and Freya and the strong uh, the heavy hitters they grab the guy and lock him down you know and they and they come up and they talk about man how did he get these extra powers in the first place he didn't understand that because they like we didn't really give him the powers how did he get them and, and then you know Wes you get back to him and narrate and he says and one more time I get that feeling the new American he was my idea. I tried to do something right. And you see him say, nice work, taking him down, partner. Chuck up another one for the new American. So the new American is getting up and turns. And the guy says, but just made things worse. And they look all in horror. And you see the face of the new American, they realize it's a Negro. And they don't know what to do. And that's how this issue ends. So if you like this and uh, and the parallels of this in Blue Marvel, uh, I, 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 it's crazy. So I, if you like this, thank you for staying this long. And remember to like, comment, share, you know, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.